Alabama has seen a lot of weather damage in the past few weeks, from flood damage in the Shoals to major tornado damage down in Lee County. Today's storm left behind some damage in Cullman County. Way 31 Sierra Phillips is live in White City in Cullman County. Sierra? Got another front coming in, too. I'm here just behind the White City Community Center at the home I showed you earlier. Now, this is Matthew Howell. He lives nearby, and he was on the phone with the homeowner when this tree hit the home. Now, tell me about what that phone call was like. Uh, my mother-in-law called panicking, crying, and saying that it was on top of the house, and her phone went out, and we just got in the car, I did, and come across the railroad track and uh, saw how the damage was and pretty much started picking all the roosters up and getting all the animals up and just waiting for it to get cleared so we can uh, assess the damage of the house. So you're, you're here, you're seeing this, what's your first thought? Uh, it's a tragedy. I uh, left work early to get, you know, safety and come to this. So now it's just, uh, I guess, the clean up and rebuild, try to uh, move on to the next day. Mm -hmm. So what kind of cleanup do you think you're looking at? Uh, chainsaws, uh, pretty much backing trailers up, going to the scrap yard. I got a lot of tin uh, scattered throughout the pastures and uh, just see what we can salvage and get rid of the rest. I'll let you get to work. Thank All you right. very much. Right, thank you. Um, I'll give you another live update on what's going on here in Coleman County a little later. Reporting live in Coleman County, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News.